Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to a new German lesson. In this video lesson, we will learn some new vocabulary, some new words, but um, at the same time, I would like to show you how you can learn new words. And uh, before we start, I would just like to inform you that I have a new YouTube channel where I teach German, but using only German, so no translation. I know that for beginners, learning German can be uh, really challenging and difficult because even when you find something on the net saying German for beginners, it's usually not for beginners. <laughs> it's usually something that you cannot understand. It's, it's easier f with other languages like English or, I don't know, Italian or Spanish. You already know something and then you can recognize some of the words you learned and heard them somewhere. But with German, usually for beginners who have never studied it before, it can be really, really tough. And it's very important to listen if you want to learn. So these uh, beginners don't have a lot of opportunity to listen to something they can understand. So they are just uh, doing uh, grammar exercises and uh, reading texts, etc. But listening is really important. So that's why I made this channel and it has grown really, really quickly. So I guess people recognized uh, that that is what they need when it comes to uh, learning German. And I hope you, it will be useful for you as well. The link for that YouTube channel is below in the description. And uh, yes, now we start with our lesson. Okay, so let's start with der Abend. It's the evening. Der Abend. So how do we say good evening? Do we say good Abend? <laughs> No, we have to say guten Abend because of some cases in German, accusative case. Okay, so guten Abend. The same is with um, good afternoon, good day, guten Tag, guten Abend, good evening, guten Abend. Okay, let's move on. To wann. Wann is when. When, so I will ask you, for example, when um, do you get up? Wann stehst du auf? Again, an interesting thing in German are these words, that is verbs with separable prefixes, as this one, aufstehen, is to get up. Okay, so first we put the verb, second person singular, stehst, and then we put the prefix at the end. Okay, so wann is when. Wann stehst du auf? Wann stehst du auf? Okay, ich stehe gegen Nacht Uhr auf. Ich stehe, the answer would be, ich stehe gegen at about 8 Uhr auf, at about 8 o'clock. Ich stehe gegen 8 Uhr auf. Are you ready for number three? And that's bald. Meaning soon, so see you soon, would be bis bald, bis bald. Or I can say I'm coming soon, ich komme bald, bis bald, ich komme bald, coming soon, ich komme bald, okay. Number four is gestern, and that's yesterday, so if you want to use the word, the verb gestern, we need to use perfect, usually, in Deutsch. So, uh, I can say, for example, what did I um, do? Oh, ich habe gestern gearbeitet. I worked yesterday. Ich habe gestern gearbeitet. So, as I said, I'm using perfect, not preteritum. So, it would be like present perfect in English. So, we have auxiliary, ich habe haben, have, and then we have the main verb, which is in its past participle form. So it's gearbeitet, the verb is arbeiten. So I have worked, ich habe gearbeitet. I worked yesterday, ich habe gestern gearbeitet. Okay, number five is gewöhnlich, gewöhnlich, or we can also use the word nor Ma la weise. It's even longer, but very common. So, gewöhnlich oder normalerweise, usually. So, ich. 
we can use the same Aufstehen and say ich stehe normalerweise oder gewöhnlich um 8 Uhr auf. Ich stehe normalerweise. I usually get up. Ich stehe normalerweise um 8 Uhr auf. That's normalerweise, normally. And gewöhnlich, usually. That was number five. What's number six? Number six is as gibt, meaning there is and there are. <laughs> so there is no difference when we use nouns, singular or plural nouns. So if I want to say there is a, a bottle on the table, I would say es gibt eine Flasche auf dem Tisch. So es gibt, there is a bottle. But if I want to say that there are books, there are books on the table, I will use the same as gibt. Es gibt Bücher, plural of das Buch sind Bücher auf dem Tisch. So we only have one form of this phrase and that's es gibt. Es gibt eine Flasche und es gibt Bücher auch auf dem Tisch on the table. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, then we have heute. This is pronounced oi. Heute, heute, heute. So, was machst du heute? Oder was hast du heute gemacht? Meaning, what did you do today? Was hast du heute gemacht? What did you do? Today, heute. Heute lerne ich Deutsch. I am studying German today. Heute lerne ich Deutsch. Heute. We had gestern, yesterday, and now heute, today. Then we have number eight, and that is erzählen. Er erzählen. This is E. Erzählen, it means to tell a story, to tell a joke. Erzählen. So, I want to tell you a story. Ich will, I want you, dir, a story, eine Geschichte. Tell, erzählen. So, you probably know that in German, if we have a modal verb in a sentence, then it occupies position number two, ich will, I want, but the main verb erzählen, or any, goes at the very end. So, we can't say, ich will dir erzählen eine Geschichte, I will tell you a story, but we say, I will you a story tell, ich will dir eine Geschichte erzählen, it's always like that. Model verb or auxiliary verb, imperfect, at the second, in the second position and the main verb at the end. Okay, ich will dir eine Geschichte erzählen. Then number nine is der Monat and it's a month. Der Monat is a month. So if I want to say that every month I uh, go to the beach, which is true because I live on the beach, almost on the beach. So, ich gehe every month would be jeden Monat zum Strand to the beach. So, remember the first word was der Abend and then we say, said guten Abend for good, uh, good evening, guten Abend and we said that it's a masculine noun in accusative, the same verbs for der Monat. It's again masculine noun in accusative. And that's why we say jeden Monat. Or this month would be diesen Monat. This month I'm going to the beach. Diesen Monat gehe ich zum Strand. Okay. Or letzten Monat. Last month. Diesen jeden letzten. Okay. Number nine. Number ten. Actually, is nie, niemals or nie meaning never. 
So, as in English, if I want to say, I never go to the beach, I would say, Ich gehe nie zum Strand. I never go, ich gehe nie zum Strand. In German, we say, I go never. Why? Well, because position number two, always reserved, booked for a verb, a modal verb, auxiliary verb, or in this case, we have only one gain, so it goes in the place number two. So it's like always ich gehe, and then you say what? Ich gehe nie zum Stand. Okay, so let's just recap what we have learned so far. We don't want to learn a lot and then end up learning nothing. So first we had der Abend, evening, and we said guten Abend, like good evening, and we will make another one now saying that um, heute Abend, gay house, meaning uh, this evening I'm going out, I'm going out this evening, heute Abend, heute, today, Abend, evening, this evening I'm going out, heute Abend, gay house. Then we had number two, and that was wann, meaning when, wann. Wann stehst du auf? Ich stehe gegen Nacht auf. And we will ask something else now with wann. Wann, um, wann musst du zu Hause sein? A little bit complicated. Wann musst du zu Hause sein? Meaning, when do you have to be at home? have to, must, when must you at home be, so verb to be in German is sein, and we said modal verb at position number two, the main verb at the end, so wann muss du zu Hause sein, then we had number three and it was bald, as soon, bis bald, see you soon, ich komme bald, I'm coming soon, or Ich werde bald Deutsch sprechen. Very soon, soon I will be, or I will be able to speak in German. Ich werde bald Deutsch sprechen. Then it was number four, and that was gestern, yesterday. Ich habe gestern gearbeitet, and we can ask somebody, uh, wo warst du gestern, for example? Wo warst du gestern? Meaning, where were you yesterday? Warst du? Were you? It's preteritum, uh, a simple form of the verb sign to be. Ich war du warst. Wo warst du gestern? Then it was gewöhnlich oder normalerweise, meaning usually. Ich stehe normalerweise um 8 Uhr auf. Again, we can ask somebody. For example, wann... Um, when do you usually study? When learns to Deutsch? Okay. Then we have es gibt. There is there are. Es gibt eine Flasche. Es gibt Bücher. Now we can um, ask questions if we want to say is there. Uh, is there anyone in the house? For example. We make this inversion saying gibt es jemanden zu Hause? Gibt es jemanden zu Hause? Then we had heute. Was hast du heute gemacht? What did you do yesterday? Uh, today, sorry, heute. Heute lerne ich Deutsch und heute regnet es den ganzen Tag, meaning it has been raining all day today. Uh, today it's raining. Heute regnet es. Heute regnet es. Den ganzen Tag, meaning the whole day. Okay, then we have erzählen and that's to tell. Ich will dir eine Geschichte erzählen. We can put it in perfect saying. Er hat mir alles erzählt, zum Beispiel. Um, he told me or he has told me alles, everything. He has told me everything. Er hat mir alles erzählt. 
Then we had the Amunat. Ich gehe jeden Monat zum Strand. Okay, ich gehe jeden Monat zum Strand. Diesen Monat gehe ich zum Strand. Und letzten Monat bin ich zum Strand gegangen. Uh, last month, letzten Monat, I went to the beach, bin ich zum Strand gegangen. And number 10 was die, never, ich gehe nicht zu, nie zum Strand, I never go to the beach, ich gehe nie zum Strand, or we can say, er trinkt nie Wein, he never drinks wine, er trinkt nie, never wine. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Peace out.